What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. And today, 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 we're going to be getting into another interesting video topic. Now, today, I just want to drop a quick video on these injuries, man. Um, these injuries is getting ridiculous. Uh, the Browns lost Grant Delpit, Okaro O'Connor, um, Maurice Hurst, Dewan Jones. They might not get Juan Thornhill back. Denzel Ward struggling to come back. Miles Garrett's probably not supposed to be playing. They already lost Deshaun Watson. They already lost Nick Chubb, Jack Cochran. Jedrick Wills is done also. Like, man, it's starting to get starting to get to a point where we're asking this team to overcome what they're dealing with right now is, is kind of it's kind of getting hard of an ax for them. Um, the only good thing that I will say about this is that. We got 23% of our, our, our team uh, coming off some type of a surgery going into 2024. Um, do you or do you not fire the complete training staff of the Cleveland Browns? Like, who, somebody, I, I know I'm, a, I'm trying to like a fan right now and I understand injuries is happening, but like, what? how much blame do we put on the training staff for having 23% of our roster on, on IR. On IR. Not hurt. Not dealing with something. 23% of the roster, it can't come back. Like, I don't know, man. I, I remember this happening to the Baltimore Ravens at a lesser extent. And they fired their, their entire their entire um, training staff. Do the Browns go and fire their entire training staff? Do you guys recommend that? Um, I think you got to, man. I, I think you got to. Something got to change, though. Um, I, like, where? what is this going to get blamed on? It, it, does it got nothing to do with the training staff? And is it due to the week five bye? Is it the week five bye? And it's us having these long-ass Thursday night football game all the way at the end of the year? Is that to blame for it? That's possible. But some of these injuries happened after the bye, before the bye. We lost Nick Chubb due to a freak injury. That, that had nothing to do with the bye. We lost to Sean Watson due to a freak. Ah, uh, no. I think Deshaun Watson's body just wasn't. I think his body kind of not broke down on him, but though he had multiple injuries back to back to back. I'm going to blame that on the training staff. <coughs> I'm going to blame that on the Denzel Ward injuries. I'm going to blame that on the training staff. Juan Thornhill calf injury. I'm going to blame that on the training staff. Like, these are reoccurring injuries that keep popping up with certain players, and certain players keep getting knacked up and bruised up. The training staff got to do better than that. Um, now, the week five, blah, I'm going to blame the week five, blah. Uh, no, I said blah. <laughs> I'm going to blame the week five, blah. I said it again. But I'm going to put, like, Maurice Hurst injury. Um, who else? Okoronko injury. Like, these guys tearing their pecs. I'm going to blame that on that. I mean, you've been playing since for uh, a long time now. Week five was a long time ago that these guys been playing straight football. Hard nose, hard contact, fighter football. So, I, I'm going to go 70-30 here. I'm going to say 70% of the blame is to do with the training staff. And I think the Browns should probably fire the entire training staff, which is completely, completely, um, you know, unfair to the people that's working on that training staff that might not have nothing to do with it. But something got to – Jimmy Haslam got to do something. Andrew Barry got to do something. Um, uh, Or you could blame the NFL. We didn't get a Thursday night football game in week 17, and we got a bye in week five. That's, or, that's horrific. That's horrific. Now, they gave us some home games, but that don't got shit to do with health. Um, so I just want to drop this quick video for you guys. Uh, I think this whole everything should be about getting healthy for 2024. I have no expectations for this team. Um, with all them being eight and five, despite everything that they've been through this year, losing Nick Chubb to tragic way they did, losing Deshaun Watson, losing Jedrick Wills, losing Dewan Jones, losing Jack Cochran in game one. Um, we could go back to game by game. They lost a significant player in every game. So um, I'm not asking for too much out of this team. 
If they get to 10 wins, Kevin Stefanski better get an extension. We're going to talk about that on another video, though. Andrew Berry better get an extension. I want to see this group here to stay. The only thing I'll, I'll probably uh, want us to upgrade is our wide receiver room, but we'll talk about that in the offseason. Um, I just want to drop this quick little five-minute video. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Who is to blame for the injuries? I kind of just want to have a discussion with you guys um, down in the comment section down below because this is I've never seen nothing like this. But it's your boy, Will. Y'all stay tuned. We got some more content coming your way. I'm going to give y'all my analysis on this Bears game. Um, if y'all want a weekly pick em, I'm going to start doing pick em's again. Um, I'm going to give y'all this analysis on this Bears game. And we're going to talk about what we can do about these injuries on East position. It's your boy Will. Love y'all, man. Peace. Go dogs.